Ya, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Selamat siang untuk untuk para Bapak dan Ibu guru yang sudah menyebutkan hadir secara virtual pada acara siang hari ini. Bagaimana kabarnya Bapak dan Ibu? Semoga semua selalu dalam keadaan sehat walafiat ya. Kami harap pandemi ini juga bisa segera berakhir agar kita semua dapat beraktivitas kembali secara normal. Amin, amin, rebel, amin. Sebelumnya untuk memudahkan panitia dalam pengelompokan pada breakout room nanti, mohon untuk Bapak Ibu yang belum mengganti namanya pada Zoom, boleh diganti dengan atau boleh di rename dengan nama workshop atau topik workshop yang nanti akan diikuti. Lalu tanda dash atau tanda minus dilanjutkan dengan nama Bapak dan Ibu. Jadi misalnya GITE dash Faihana atau CLIL dash Faihana. Seperti itu. Jika yang sudah diberikan nama kami ucapkan terima kasih. Bagi yang belum kami ingin kembali untuk diberikan nama pada Zoom dengan topik dash lalu dilanjutkan dengan nama Bapak Ibu. Ya, sebelumnya izinkan saya untuk memperkenalkan diri. Nama saya Hana, senang sekali dalam rangka memperingati Hari Guru Nasional. Saya berkesempatan selama dua jam ke depan akan menjadi host di acara Teacher Development Workshop yang bertemakan Brass Up on Your Key Teacher Skill. Sebelumnya kami mewakili seluruh staff dan peneliti dari TBI dan UTC mengucapkan selamat hari guru bagi Bapak Ibu yang sudah hadir pada acara hari ini. Kami akan informasikan juga terlebih dahulu bahwa nanti akan ada kuis dengan hadiah yang sangat menarik persembahan dari TBI dan UTC. Hadiahnya ada apa saja sih Bapak Ibu? Jadi ada beberapa hadiah nih yang bisa Bapak Ibu dapatkan. Yang pertama ada TBI Study Voucher dengan nilai Rp250.000. Voucher ini dapat digunakan dan hanya berlaku di TBI Pondok Indah. TBI Kuningan, Kelapa Gading, Bandung, dan Malang. Lalu ada juga token CEPT atau Cambridge English Placement Test senilai Rp200.000. CEPT merupakan official placement test dari Cambridge Assessment English yang dapat digunakan untuk mengetahui level posisi bahasa Inggris bagi pesertanya. Dan kami juga punya voucher discount untuk tiketi sebesar Rp100.000 bagi seluruh peserta workshop yang mengikuti agenda acara pada hari ini hingga akhir. Nah, banyak banget ya Bapak-Ibu untuk acaranya, untuk hadiahnya di acara ini. Jadi, stay tune sampai akhir acara. Baik, pendidikan dan pembelajaran di sekolah memiliki keterkaitan erat dengan era globalisasi. Tidak dapat disangkal bahwa peran guru sebagai tenaga pendidik sangatlah penting dalam mempersiapkan generasi unggul dan siap bertarung di dan siap bertarung di persaingan global dengan tuntutan lebih kompleks dan menentang saat ini. Tenaga pendidik atau para guru diharapkan dapat memperhatikan siswa dan siswi secara optimal dan komprehensif dari segala sisi. Untuk itu, dibutuhkan penguasaan ilmu yang kuat dalam memberikan materi pengajaran kepada siswa dan siswi di sekolah. Upaya peningkatan kompetensi tenaga pendidik dapat diasah dengan berbagai kegiatan positif seperti workshop, pelatihan, dan program sertifikasi guru. Dengan tujuan ada nilai tambah yang lebih baik, utamanya kaitan dengan proses belajar mengajar di sekolah. The British Institute atau biasa dikenal dengan TBA dan UTC merupakan media yang tepat untuk mempersiapkan diri dalam memperkuat pengetahuan serta strategi agar proses pengajaran di kelas menjadi semakin kondusif dan produktif. Jadi TBA ini mediakan program pembelajaran bahasa Inggris untuk kelas anak-anak, remaja, dewasa, guru, profesional, in-house training atau corporate dan digital learning. Dan ini dapat diakses di mana saja dan kapan saja. Dia merupakan satu-satunya tempat khusus bahasa Inggris di Indonesia bersih di University of Cambridge English untuk menjalankan kursus pelatihan CELTA atau sertifikat in teaching English to speak of other language. Guru-guru yang mengajar DTI ini pun sudah memiliki sertifikat CELTA yang sudah diakui secara internasional. Sedangkan UTC memberikan asesmen sebagai final dari pembelajaran tersebut. Kami memiliki teaching late test yang bisa digunakan sebagai sertifikasi mengajar bahasa Inggris yang diakui secara global. Ya, Sebelum saya panggilan kedua pembicara kita pada hari ini, saya mau tahu dulu nih Bapak-Ibu kira-kira 
seberapa penting sih untuk uh, guru atau tenaga pengajar memiliki sertifikasi bertaraf uh, internasional? Jadi sekarang saya akan munculkan di layar Zoom Bapak Ibu semua polling yang dapat Bapak Ibu pilih. Ada tiga pertanyaan, mungkin butuh waktu sekitar 1-3 menit untuk menjawabnya. Bisa dibantu untuk dimunculkan? Baik, sekarang sudah muncul di layar Zoom Bapak Ibu semua. Bisa dipilih. Uh, ketiga pertanyaan ini oke okay. uh, oke okay. baik sudah dilengkapi sebagian besar iya saya berikan waktu 30 detik lagi Iya, baik. Udah banyak yang mengisi nih sepertinya. Oke. Okay. Ya, baik. Ya, bagian besar sudah mengisi dan yang paling penting adalah sertifikasi mengajar berskala internasional ini. Uh, saya rasa semuanya menganggap ini adalah hal penting untuk dimiliki oleh uh, semua tenaga pengajar atau tenaga pendidik ya. Baik, terima kasih untuk Bapak Ibu atas waktunya sudah memilih polling tersebut. Ya oke, okay. itu very good start Bapak Ibu. Terima kasih partisipasinya sudah memilih pollnya. Baik, sesuai dengan agenda kami hari ini, karena dua tema workshop yang akan kami berikan. And now let us uh, welcome and introduce our speaker of the day. Yang pertama ada Miss Opal Oktaviani. She is the head of TBI Teacher Training, memiliki pengalaman dengan jam terbang yang tinggi dan mengajar seperti exam preparation, young learner, general English, business communication course, dan lain-lain. Miss Oke hari ini akan membawakan workshop mengenai JTE atau Classroom Management. Ya, please welcome Miss Oke Octaviani. Hello everybody. Miss Oke, iya. Yeah. Halo Miss. Hi. How are you Miss Oke? I'm good, Alhamdulillah. How are you? Alhamdulillah, good Miss. Oke, okay. Miss Oka ditunggu dulu. Aku mau perkenalkan pembicara kami kedua ya, Miss. Oke. Okay. Baik, and next we have Miss Yurusman. Beliau adalah head of DI uh, Digital Learning, memiliki pengalaman mengajar dah lebih dari 20 tahun. Beliau juga menyelesaikan CELTA certification-nya. Miss Yayu hari ini akan menyampaikan workshop mengenai uh, CLIL atau Content Language Integrated Learning. Please welcome Miss Yayu. Halo Miss Yayu. Sorry. Halo. Halo, <laughs> Halo Miss. Gimana kabarnya Miss Yayu? Alhamdulillah, I'm great. Alhamdulillah. Are, are you ready to deliver the workshop yes. today, Miss? Yes, I'm quite excited melihat. Uh, I'm looking at the list of the participants lumayan banyak dengan juga sesuai. Iya. Yeah. <laughs> iya, banyak ya Miss ya. Alhamdulillah. Ya, Alhamdulillah. Oke, okay. okay, bye Miss Yayu. Ya, terima kasih Miss. Nah. Itu dia untuk para speaker kita hari ini. Jadi ada dua gesture untuk hari ini. Pasti Bapak Ibu sekalian sudah tidak sabar lagi untuk masuk ke dalam workshop Miss Oke dan Miss Yayu hari ini. So, so without uh, further ado, peserta akan terbagi menjadi uh, dua, dua breakout room. Jadi nanti kita akan munculkan dua breakout room atau tampilan breakout room yang akan muncul di layar Zoom Bapak Ibu semua. Jadi Bapak Ibu bisa pilih sesuai dengan tema yang kemarin sudah uh, dipilih saat registrasi. Jadi sudah bisa klik bagian join bagi Bapak Ibu yang belum masuk. Bisa klik bagian join untuk uh, masuk ke breakout roomnya. Nanti setelah workshop masing-masing breakout room sudah selesai, diharapkan agar Bapak Ibu sekalian kembali ke main roomnya ya. Jadi bisa langsung klik join untuk masuk ke kelas workshopnya. Oke, okay, enjoy the workshop Bapak Ibu semuanya. I hope that's okay ya. Yeah? Is it okay for me to record it? Hi Pak Solihin, it's so nice to see you again. Oke. Okay. I always see Pak Solihin. Thank you again, please. Oke. Okay. Okay. Good afternoon for you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, Pak. Hello, everyone. Okay, so how many do we have here? We don't have a lot uh, in GIT, actually, which is good for you, right? Okay, so uh, we have... All right, let's just wait for more people to join us. In the meantime, let me share my screen. 
in the script uh, fewer than C L I L. Yeah, definitely, Mr. yes. Um, uh, we only have less than 40, I think, but Cleo has almost 80. Well, logically speaking, you know, we're like English teachers and there are so many other subjects outside of English, right? So yeah, it makes it makes a lot more efficient uh, to what is it to, <laughs> yeah, to, be, to be given to us. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, we have, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. So welcome everyone. Um, so yes, just like what the session is, uh, uh, the title of the session, we're going to talk about classroom management. By the way, uh, do you guys know what GIT stands for? Okay, anyways, so I'll tell you about GIT later, but then classroom, uh, we're just going to focus on classroom management, yeah? Okay, so before we start, um, all of you are English teachers, correct? Yes. Yes? I'm not. You're not English? It's okay. All right. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, what we're going to focus on today is how to manage our classroom so that we can, um, if, uh, we can, um, achieve our lesson aim okay so if you have any questions feel free to ask okay we have 19 minutes which is until what this is 2 22 so around 3 4 around 4 ish all right let's start aha uh -huh. so before we start i need to make sure that we, all of us are on the same page okay so we're going to we're going to do an activity called guess the word so here's how we're going to do this. So um, I'm going to describe something to you. OK, please unmute yourself to guess what the word that I'm trying to describe is. OK, <clears throat> again, how many words am I going to describe? Am I going to describe one word or two words? Maybe three. Uh -uh. I'm only going to describe one word, okay? And what do you have to do? One word can be a main tree, so it has a lot of uh, branches. Okay, right. So I'm going to describe one word, okay, or of or one phrase. Your job is to guess what I'm describing, okay? To answer, to, to try to guess what I'm describing, do you unmute your mic or do you type the answer in the chat box? It's okay, unmute. Thank you very much. Yes, unmute. We don't, we're not going to use the chat box right now. All right, ready? Okay, let's see. Um, okay, so, all right. What is the word? Um, this is the subject that a lot of us in this breakout room teach. English. Yay! English. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Good. So that is how you do it. All right. So now I'm going to uh, give one of you a word. All right. Everyone, please look at your chat box because you could be the lucky one <laughs> all right let's see uh, okay miss windriani are you here oh hi you're here yes right. ma'am yes the word miss okay describe it yeah oh by the way one more thing guys um please refrain from using any parts of the word so for example if the word is um swimming pool for example Please refrain from saying something like, this is a pool where you can swim in. Okay? So try not to say any parts of the word. All right? Miss Windriani, here's your word. We, all of us, have birthday yesterday. Did you hear that? Uh, 
still nobody can guess. Um, okay. Uh, every day we are in front of the children and delivering some <laughs> delivering uh, our subjects. Teaching. Yes, ma'am. Teacher. Teaching. Is it teaching? It's it's a noun. Oh, it's a noun. It's a noun. Teach. Mm. It's a noun, ma'am. It's a noun. I'm sorry, it's a little noisy here. Okay, uh, still confused. <laughs> you said teach, right? That's a verb. What's the noun of teach? Yeah. Somebody who, somebody who teaches is called a. It's teacher. all of us. It's all of us. And all of us uh, has anniversary yesterday. Teacher's day. Teacher's day. Yeah. Yay. But without, yeah. without the day. <laughs> yeah. So they've got it. Teacher, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Next one, Miss Renny, are you here? Yeah, me. All right. There you go. Chat box. There you go. Okay. So when you teach in the class, so you need some material. Teachers, so in the class we need some material. No. Um tools no <laughs> only one word uh lesson plan no Book. if you don't have uh this so you cannot teach them Topic. student yes <laughs> Yes, yes. <laughs> that's right yeah that was some that was some tricky hint yeah but it's okay i'll go there. thank you so much miss Rani. okay miss uh, uh ajeng aditya are you here oh there you go all right ready yeah. chat box please okay one word Did you see that, Miss Miss Ajeng, in the chat box? Okay, you're muted, by the way, so we can't hear you. Okay, thank you. Ah, <clears throat> uh, we have. Partner, yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, that's it. That's it. Part Wait. Yeah. Can you say that again, please? We have partner. One team. Word. Team. Team. Group. Couple. Team. Nope. Uh, couple. Another word, another word. Oh. Starts with a P. Yeah. <laughs> no? Okay, Miss Ajeng, can you please give them give uh, uh, the answer then? What is it? Pair. Pairs. <laughs> yeah, so couple, oh. pair. Yeah, so how many yeah, how many people are in a pair? How many people? Two. Only two. two. Thank you very much. Only two. Next one, Miss Neneng. Ah, there you go, Miss Neneng. This is yours. Hold on. Um there you go.
in the chat box, Miss. Yes. And you're still muted. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, what is it? Um, it's so easy. <laughs> uh, oh, what is it? Uh, the room that we have uh, learning in, uh, in learning interactive class. Yes, well done. And the last word goes to Pak Solihin. Are you there, Pak? 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 Pak Solihin? Yes. Hi, okay. Yes, ma'am. This is for you. Okay. Wait. Okay. All right, in the chat box, Pak. That's the last word. Okay. Easy. The easiest one, okay? So people can answer my questions. Right. Uh, we want to send the message so we can use text phone yes yeah. phones okay hey yeah, phones okay and phones okay that's correct mm -hmm. okay that's all okay but, but okay so the word that you need to describe is in the chat box but sorry the one can you see the chat box okay. which one uh, in the Zoom chat box, what? I've just sent you a direct message. Can you see it? Just click chat. Do you have that? No, it's. Oh, okay. I cannot find it. All right. I can find it. Let's try again. There you go, Pa. Did you get it? Direction. Okay. You need to describe it. Okay. <laughs> I hope nobody heard that. Yes, but try. Okay. All right, peasants, because I already uh, mentioned it. Okay. All right. So, what did what word did Paulo Solihin say? Connection. No. Nope. Di <laughs> no. Direction. 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 Nobody. No. Mm -mm. No. Pa. Nobody heard you. Let's describe it. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, this is like uh, what is it? Uh, some people who have uh, the same idea and we can be in a group. We have a one group. So all people in and both or what is it? So it's like joins together and they always uh, are, they are always active to join to say something so like that okay. so one group one and another one one and other people is uh, chatting discussion oh discussion yes discussion but maybe at cloud the closest ones no no yeah People will uh, will be active okay, to say or to act okay, one another. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> already mentioned. <laughs> it's okay. Yes. Yeah. What is it? What is it? Relation. Uh, discussion. Uh, discussion is something. Uh, discussion is what you do. And discussion involves this. A relation? What is it? Oh. And this also involves relation. <laughs> pa, just give them the word, Pa. Please. Say the words. Okay. So it's like interaction. So the word is interaction. Yes. Uh interaction uh, yes but so here excuse me could you please type the word in the chat box for everyone but okay wait a minute uh we'll choose for everyone right okay yes. Yes. teacher student class and interaction there you go Woo! well done thank you so much so those are the words that we have just uh described right now um when you are teaching right when you are teaching your class who do you expect your students attention to be on when you are teaching who do you want your students to be pay to be paying attention to 
on the teacher. On you, basically, right? Yeah. Okay, right. Now, um, in a minute, we are going to talk about the interaction patterns that take place in our class. Okay? Now, let's look at what we are doing right now. What is the interaction pattern that is taking place right now? Let's say I'm the teacher and you're the students. What is the interaction pattern that is happening right now? Who am I interacting with? I'm the teacher. Who am I interacting with? Students. Good. The students, yes. Am I interacting with one student at a time or the whole class? Whole class. Thank you. So the interaction pattern that is happening right now is teacher to class. Okay? Yeah, that is the interaction pattern. Now, we're going to find out why it is important for us to think about the interaction patterns in our class. But before that, let's look at more interaction patterns, okay? So this is teacher to class. When you were playing the guess the word game, what was the interaction pattern? Uh, yes, Bu Nene? Eh, no. Uh, one student, focus one student. Good. Student to who? To the teacher? Uh, yeah, uh, to, to, the, to the peers. To the peers. peers. And okay, so basically, when Ibu Neneng was describing her word, she was describing the word to the class or to only one of the students? To the, to the class. To the class. class. Thank you. So the interaction pattern that took place when, when we were playing the game was student to the whole class. Okay? Now let's look at more interaction patterns that we can have. So first, teacher class, yeah? Okay? And then we can also have teacher student. When do you think we can have this interaction pattern? Teacher to only one student. When do you think we can have that? Class will make, will Maisie. What? What book? <laughs> What did you say? The class will will maze <laughs> Right, yeah. But then sometimes, sometimes, do you actually, sometimes, um, talk to only one student during your class? Nope. No? Together. One by one, one by one. Okay, sometimes, oh. sometimes you would talk to one of the students, yeah? Sometimes, yeah. yeah sometimes. When would that be? Think about your class. When would you talk to one single student? Maybe when review give the assessment to the students. So when uh, we have uh, so when 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 the teacher have a question, so uh, the student have to answer the question. Uh, it's like uh, if if uh, the teacher said uh, for for these students so the, uh, that student have to answer the question so only only the teacher and one student is like that but when we are teaching in the class so uh, all the students have to pay attention to the teacher sweet like thank you very much yeah so basically normally when when you are supporting one student yeah or when you are checking one student's work yeah so that can happen, yeah? Teacher to only one student. Thank you. Ah, we talked about pairs. So again, pairs consist of how many people? Two. Thank you very much. Yeah, two, yes. Now, in the teaching of, well, actually in teaching, doesn't matter what subject you teach, we have open pairs and we have closed pairs. What do you think the difference is? So open pairs, it means uh, we can choose 
who they are, but most bears, maybe uh, some of the friends who sits next to. Yes, thank you very much. So open pairs would be, for example, I'm going to give you an example. Yeah, um, I'm just going to assume that everyone here are English teachers. All right. Um, when you are, let's say um, we are focusing on pronunciation. OK, and then um, um, I'm teaching you the pronunciation of this. What is this? <laughs> for Thank you. So for example, for example, we are focusing on um, pr pr uh, getting the students to correct, well, naturally um, pronounce the word for. So this is what's going to happen. All right. So um, everyone, listen to me, please. Listen to me, please. This is a fork. Listen, Shh. listen. Fork, fork, fork. Together? Fork. Fork. Thank you so much. Fork. All right. Now, Miss Rani, please answer my question, OK? Um, Miss Rani, what is it? That is fork. Thank you. Miss Rani, now please ask, um, wait, let's see who else we have here. Please ask uh, Miss Anissa Risat. Yeah, Miss Anissa, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Hello, Miss Rani, <clears throat> please ask her. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? It's a fork. Thank you, Miss Anissa. Please ask. Um, wait, who do we have here? Please ask Miss Windriani. Okay, Miss Windri, what is it? It is a fork. Thank you so much. Thank you. The end of the demo. So what just happened was that you guys were practicing. We're practicing the pronunciation of this in pairs, right? Yeah. So uh, I asked Miss Reni, Miss Reni asked someone else, someone else asked someone else, and so on and so forth. You guys were practicing the pronunciation of this in pairs, but could the whole class watch them? Could the whole class watch the pairs practicing? Already. Yes. All right. Can yes. you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yes. So when you were yes. So when when uh, Miss Reni, um, you were you you were um, you asked someone to pronounce this, right? Yeah? Yes. So okay. So Miss Reni was working with I can't remember who. Anyway, so Miss Reni was working in pairs, right? Um, now what happened then was open pairs. Can you hear me? Am I am I breaking up? Oh, hi. Sorry, Miss. I'm a uh, bad signal here. <laughs> right. I same, same, my same. Connection as well. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me just. Can you repeat again? Yeah. Let me just uh, stop my camera for 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 a minute. Okay. Can you hear me better? Okay. Yes. Me too. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Yes, Miss. Thank you. Yes. So earlier, earlier, I asked two students to ask each other the pronunciation of the fork, right? Yes, right. When those two students were practicing, was the rest of the class able to watch them? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear okay. you. So, yeah, so when, when two of your friends were practicing, uh, what's that? Oh, that's a fork. Uh, were you paying attention to them? Yes, of course. Yes. yes, right. So that is an example of an open pair. So an mm -hmm. open pair is a pair work activity where um, the rest of the class can actually observe this pair doing the activity. Close pair means um, the nobody watches the pairs because everyone is busy working with their recep uh, respective partner okay so that is the difference right now 
So again, let's say we are practice. Uh, let's say um, you are doing a job interview practice, okay, in pairs, job interview practice, uh, and then everyone is working in pairs, okay? Is that closed pairs or open pairs? Job interview in pairs, everyone is doing it at the same time. Closed pairs. Thank closed. you. Yes. Why do you call that a closed pair activity? Because the attention is yeah. only on the their own. partner. Okay? That is closed pair. Your attention is only, uh, your student's attention is only on their partner. Open pairs, everyone can actually watch. All right? So, so far, these are some of the patterns that can take place in our class. Next one, we have the whole class. For example, mingling activity, find someone who, for example, or I don't know, just uh, basically an activity that would involve the whole class working at the same time, that the interaction pattern is class. And then we also have individual. Mm. When does this normally happen in your class? When do students work individually? When do your students normally work individually during class? Doing worksheet? Yes, that's right. Okay, like open your book on page 20. You have 10 minutes to do number two, for example. Then that is individual. Okay? And then we also have group work. Yes. Student to class, just like uh, the guess the word game. Okay. So again, there there could be other patterns that can take place in our class, but then these are some of them. Okay. Now, <clears throat> um, in a minute, you are going to watch a lesson. It's very short, only around seven to eight minutes. Okay. While you are watching, I need you to pay attention to the interaction pattern. So, you're going to have this. Can you all see the worksheet on my screen? Yes. Okay. So, you will have this worksheet. When you have this, please type your name somewhere here. I need your name on the worksheet, okay? While you are watching the lesson, please write down the activity. For example, oh, a guessing game and the interaction pattern. I think it's student to class, yeah? Don't worry about the aim for now, okay? Again, in a minute, what are you going to watch? A lesson. Thank you. How long is the lesson? One hour? Or no. Only? No. Seven minutes. Thank you very much. While you are watching the lesson, what do you have to do? What do you have to do? What do you have to do while you're watching it? in the blank yes so you're going to have a worksheet i'll send you the link in a minute and then uh we which of okay um are okay so what is the first thing that you have to do when you get the when you have the worksheet write down your my name thank you very much Ooh, there and then do you fill out the activity interaction pattern and the aim we don't have to worry about the M for now. Thank you very much. All right. Now, everyone, please look at the chat box. Now, I'm going to number you. So please listen because I'm only going to say it once, okay? Um, all right. So let's see. Ajeng Aditya, you're number one. Okay? You're number one. So in a minute, you guys, I will share a list of links 
the links are numbered one two three and so on and so forth please remember your number and click the number accordingly okay so again uh miss ajeng your number one pak solihin your number two miss windriani your number three uh, indra four Reni Octaviani five, Sharifudin six, Ahmad seven, Anissa eight, Neneng Haryati nine, and Reni Octaviani ten. Okay. No, that's that's me. only uh, one person. Sorry. The same person. The same person. Sorry. All right. Same person. Okay. So, Miss Reni, yeah. what number is yours? Uh, five. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so we only have nine then. Wait. Nine. All right. Please click the link in the chat box. Pasolihin, what number are you? Number two. Thank you very much. Let's go. Let's click the link. We will start the video in one minute. All right, ready? Oh, not yet, okay. <laughs> Are you okay, Miss Ajeng? What's wrong? The connection, the connection is not stable. Maybe. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I already clicked. Okay. All right. Yeah. Miss Oka. Yeah. Uh, I cannot. I cannot. Uh, what is this? Um, edit the document. Oh, that's okay. So, then. It's alright. Yeah, it's okay. Um, if you cannot edit the document. Uh, would you mind doing it manually? So grab a piece of paper and then write down your note there? Yes, yes. Thank you. I will. All right. So again, activity, the interaction pattern, and please write your name on the worksheet, yeah? Ready? Let's watch this. Um, we're going to talk about directions. We're going to be talking about asking and giving directions. And we're going to be doing some listening and some speaking. And we'll look at some useful <coughs> vocabulary. We're going to listen to free people um, asking for directions and getting uh, directions. Please, can you write what I tell you? Number one. What is the name? What is the name of the place they are looking for Stacy can you repeat that back to me what is the name of the press they are looking for okay is that what we all have good number two how are they going to get there 
how are they going to get there? How are they going to get there? Please look at your partner and see if they have the same. Okay, everybody ready to listen? Yeah. Yes, good. One. Excuse, excuse me? Yeah? Can you help me? I'm looking for Church Street. Church, Church Street? Um, sorry, I don't really know. Do you know where Church Street is? Where? Church Street? Church Street? Oh, right, yeah. You go down to the end here, down to this set of traffic lights, and turn left at the lights. That's Renton Street. And when you come to another set of lights, go straight on. And then the next right is Church Street. There's a big garage, you can't miss it. So it's left of the lights, then second right where the garage is. That's it. OK, then. Thanks a lot. Cheers. OK, please tell your partner. Okay, so where? Um, and how? By car. By car, okay. I, yeah, I think it was by car. Good. Let's listen to the second. Two. Okay, so we heard lots of directions, but we also heard uh, people asking for directions. On the board, I've written what they asked, but I've left out some words. Um, with the person next to you, so you two together, you two together, two, 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 two. Can you talk about what words you think are in the gaps, please? Go. Well, let's listen and let's check now. Module 8, recording 9. 1. Can you help me? I'm looking for Church Street. Mm -hmm. Is that good? Yeah. Yeah. Does he say can or does he say can? Can. Which word does he really make loud? From here, can you help me? <coughs> Which word? Help. help. Okay, so he's stressed help. Um, and here, let's listen again. Let's see what he does. Um, one. Can you help me? Mm hmm. What does he say? Can you? Can you? Can you? Can you? Can you? So it sounds more like, can you? Everybody, can you? Can you, can you help me? Can you help me? Excuse me, how can we get to Central Station, please? Excuse me, how can we get to Central Station, please? Good. With your partner, you two, 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 can you practice saying these sentences to each other, please? Um, no, is it the Church Street or is it Church Street? Church Street. Ah, okay. Please. Not the Church. Sorry. Not the <laughs> Can you um, take your book and open it on page 77, please? Let's look at some of the language for giving directions now. At the bottom, you'll see some pictures. 
above there's a box with some expressions. Please can you match the expressions uh, to the pictures? Um, Jonathan, what do I want you to do? Um, march the sentence uh, in the correct uh, direction. Lovely. So march or match? Match. Match. Lovely. Okay. Okay, so what's the first one? Um, let's go round. So, this one? Turn left, turn right. Lovely. So, turn left at the traffic lights. Um, the second one? I'm going to give you all a map. So here is your map. You're going to look for these places. I have a different map. I have to ask you um, where some places are. So I will start with this language. So can you tell me how to get to the nearest cafe, please? You cross Station Road with the first uh, street. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And after, uh, turn uh, right. Go turn right. Go straight and turn right. Brilliant. So do not um, do not show your piece of paper to your partner, and practice using the language that we've just used. Okay. All right. Okay. So. Just quickly go through your notes and write down the interaction patterns and the activity, okay? I'll give you one minute to do that. Thank you. <coughs> Don't worry if you didn't get everything. That's fine. That's totally fine. All right, hold on, let me see. Okay. Okay, so we've got some We've got some people writing close pairs, open pairs. Nice. Good job. Okay. Good, good. All right. So, all right. So, um, let's go through the answers. Um, <clears throat> so what was the first thing that happened? What was the first activity in that class? Direction. Yes. So the, the teacher shared the aim of the lesson with the students, right? With the whole class, yeah? Yes. yes. Now, <clears throat> what is the interaction pattern there? Teacher to class. Good, yes. So that is teachers to class, yeah. When the teacher uh, was telling the students the aim of the lesson, that is teacher to the whole class. Thank you. And then what happened after that? Um, if I'm not mistaken, the teacher asked the the teacher dictated a list of questions, right? Yeah. Yeah. Station. Right. What was the interaction pattern there? Teacher to class. Yes. Right. So teacher to class. All right. And then 
they listen to the listening task uh, no hold on no, no no actually no before they started listening to the audio they the teacher asked them to to what the teacher asked the students to check whether they have the same list of questions with their friends right remember that yeah. he said something yeah. like oh please check your uh, please check uh, your questions with your friends now in that at uh, in that stage what was the what was the interaction pattern they were doing peer check what was the interaction pattern open peers okay open pairs yes do you agree with that so you're 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 checking you, your students are checking their work together with with a partner oh. actually you know what yes it could have been close pair it could have been open pairs as well again what is the difference between open pairs and close pair oh, sorry sorry so the pairs. Yeah, when when your students are are working oh. in a closed pair, who is their attention on? Their partner or the class? Partner. 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 Okay. Open pairs, the whole class can actually just uh, pay attention to each other. So like I'll be working with a partner and then I can just move to someone else and so on and so forth. That's open pairs. Just like what Pastor Lihin said. Okay. Now let's just go through the uh, list. Let me share my screen. Hold on. Can you all see my screen? Yes, ma'am. All right. So um, <clears throat> this is not. Uh, I may have. I might have missed some activities. So we are checking our list together. Okay. So this is what I put. This is the first thing that happened, like a lesson focus sharing. Like today, we're going to do this, 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 this. We're going to work on giving directions and so on and so forth. So that's teacher, teacher class. We've talked about that. And then pre-listening, writing the questions for the listening task. That was teacher class. We've talked about that. Peer check, pairs, yes. We didn't really see whether it was closed pair or open pairs, to be honest, right? Yeah, but then again, a uh, close pair would be when they only work with one partner and their focus is only on each other. Close pairs. Okay? Open pairs, they can actually swap uh, pairs. Their attention is not, not only on uh, one person, but basically the whole class can also observe them. Okay? And then after that, they did the listening task that was individually. And then peer check that was pair instructions for task that was teacher to class and then after that he talked about language focus task that was pairs now anything else did i miss anything anything else you want to add to that um did you have anything that is different from my list did i miss anything Or is it the same? Is it the same? Okay, hold on, let me see. All right. Now, okay, let's look at the others. Oh, I'm not sharing my screen. Let's look at this one. Oh, good. Yes, hi. So, can I ask you? Sure, sure, sure. So, about these. Yes, Pat, can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. It's about these uh, interactions between student visual and others. So, so what is uh, the name of the method? It is method or strategy or uh, what is its called? Okay, so... When we are teaching this uh, way or these patterns. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, these, these patterns are called interaction patterns and interaction patterns um, is very important. I'll, I'll talk to you more about it in a minute, but let's look at this. Look, here we have more activities. Pronunciation work, 
and then pronunciation work practice, instructions, more instruction, and then practice. Remember in that lesson that you with just with just watch, he was working on uh, the pronunciation of the phrase, right? Do you, pronunciation work. What do you think the interaction pattern should be when you're working on your student's pronunciation? So this is uh, suitable for teaching vocabulary, right? Not right. Reading or writing. Yes. So for example, you are teaching your students a, a, a set of words related, related to household objects, for example. You have to cover pronunciation. Now, when you are working on your student's pronunciation, what should the interaction pattern be? Is it teacher to class or what? Pairs? What is it? You are giving... Most pairs. All class. Okay. Pairs. All right. Okay, we'll see. And then when your students are practicing on their pronunciation, just like what you did with the four, what should be the interaction pattern? Right. Yes. Pairs. Thank you. When the teacher is giving instructions to the whole class, what should be the interaction pattern? Teacher to class. Okay, thank you. When your students are doing a speaking practice, for example, what should be the interaction pattern? They're doing practice. Should the teacher, should the teacher be involved in practice? Right. No, nope. students should uh, teachers should not be involved when students are doing practice. Now, hold on, let me do something here. Okay. Oh, sorry. Can you all see my screen? Yes. Okay. So here. You have pronunciation work, the teacher giving the sample pronunciation of the target language to students, that is teacher class. Meaning the class's attention should be on the teacher, okay? But when you are getting your students to practice their pronunciation, you should not be a part of it their attention should be on their partner or should be on their partner instead of on you when you are giving instructions it has to be teacher to class meaning your students attention is on you again when students are doing practice their attention should not be on you now the reason why i am talking about how this is important is because Sorry. Um, a lot of you ask a question uh, in the registration form. The question is, a lot of the question is to do with how do I keep uh, my students from being sleepy? How can I motivate my students to be engaged in my lesson? How do I get my students to want to do the activities in class? A lot of you ask me those questions. Now, if you look at the interaction pattern here, right? You have, you can see here that you have a variety of interaction pattern. Meaning, the student's attention is not always on you as the teacher. They shift their attention from the teacher to their partners, to themselves, teacher again, themselves again, partner again, and so on and so forth. So, when you do it like that, you give your lesson a variety. Hopefully, well normally, the students, that will help with keeping your students engaged because they will not be bored because they will be paying attention to different people not only the teacher but i will be paying attention to myself because i'm doing worksheet but then after this i'm going to look at my friend because we're doing pair work activity 
after this i'm going to look at the whole class because i'm working on an activity that is done with everyone with me being one of them for example okay so the lesson from this is this you want your lesson to be student centered okay because when your lesson is student centered you make your student feel important and you give them a sense of belonging towards your lesson also you keep them from being bored in your class when your lesson is student centered usually your students will stay engaged they will not be sleepy they will not be bored they will be motivated to complete the tasks okay so again interaction pattern matters when you are planning your lesson you also have to think about the interaction pattern okay you can decide what the interaction pattern would be when you are reviewing your lesson plan so for example let me go back so for example when you say okay you know what i'm gonna start my lesson by sharing the lesson focus with my student okay then they'll be paying attention to me and after that i'm gonna get them to write down the questions that i dictate to them and that would be yes teacher to class but then at the same time they are doing it individually so one thing that i miss here is this i should have put down individually here as well because here the students are actually uh doing an individual work yeah so again let me repeat myself when you are planning your lesson you have to make sure that you have a variety of interaction pattern you don't want <clears throat> You don't want the pattern to be only <clears throat> teacher class, teacher student, teacher class, teacher student. That will make your lesson teacher centered and <clears throat> that would disengage your students. You want variety like this. Teacher class, pairs individually. Teacher class again, pairs. And then, well, we only have had that uh, lesson, yeah? But then you would want to put group, for example okay so play around with the interaction pattern so here play around with this have teacher class have open pairs close pair the whole class individual work group student to the whole class think about that okay very important and this has to be done when you are planning your lesson before you walk to your classroom before we continue have you got any questions <clears throat> so good yes bye. can i ask you of course okay. i hope you're not bored with my questions of course not I, I, love, you. I love questions yes okay well from these uh, patterns uh, it must be uh writings because this is uh very important to get to know uh the pace or the step of uh my teaching so it should be written down on the lesson plan here like uh, open pair of close friends or like this one yes should i write on yes. lesson plan yes so what we have here if you can can you see my screen can you see my screen yeah okay um at dbi um when we write our lesson plan we would have this so we would have the activity the interaction pattern and then the aim of that activity so for example uh, the activity is modeling the pronunciation of the word for for example the interaction pattern is teacher to class the aim is to uh, enable students to under to to have 
natural pronunciation of the word fork, for example. So yes, but yes, you want to put that interaction pattern in your lesson plan. So this method for interactions uh, patterns, especially for teaching uh, vocabulary or reading or writing or speaking. Everything. So everything. everything, everything. Even even when you teach non English subject, this matters as well. Again, no matter what subject you teach, you have to have effective classroom management. And one important aspect of that is to have varied interaction pattern. So yes, no matter what language you teach, language point, no matter what, what lesson you teach, this is the same. You need to have the activity, the interaction pattern, and the stage aim. Same thing. It can be modified by PowerPoint or uh, other media. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Sport. Yes. Uh, uh, your lesson plan, this form is for you, Pa. You don't have to share it with anybody, right? Unless, uh, unless your principal asks for it, then go ahead. But then your lesson plan is to support you. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, let me repeat that. Your lesson plan is your support system. Okay, so make it, um, make it yours. Yeah, if you want to make it as in a form as uh, in a form of a PowerPoint, go ahead. If you want to just manually write it, go ahead. If you want to type it, you can do it as well. But then the point is, your lesson plan is for you to support to support yourself in your lesson. So you have to have the activity, you have to think about the interaction pattern, and of course you have to know the aim of that. Okay? Did I answer your question, Pak Solihin? Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Kim. Thank you so much for the question. Any other questions before we move on? Okay, so we've talked about the activity and the interaction pattern, right? Remember, Effective classroom management leads towards a successful lesson. Okay, your lesson is successful, successful if you achieve your aim. Right. So in order for you to achieve your aim, you're gonna have to do a lot of things, and one of them is to have effective classroom management. And to have effective classroom management you have to have varied interaction pattern in your lesson okay other than that one thing that is very important is for you to know the aim of the activities that you have in your lesson okay so i have met some teachers who would just throw in activities because they just want to get it done with. Like I have 45 minutes to fill, I'm just gonna get them to do the exercises from page 10 until page 15. That is, there is no variety in interest and pattern there, right? Because there will just be teacher class and individual work. So another thing that is very important is knowing the aim of your activities. Now, okay, yeah, we're running out of time. All right, so um, look at this. So activity is lesson focus sharing. The interaction pattern is teacher to class. The aim is to generate students interest in the lesson, right? And then you get students to write the questions for the listening task, then the aim is to prepare students for the task that follows and so on and so forth. So again, when you are planning your lesson, you need to think about the activities that you will have in your class. You need to think about the interaction pattern, make it varied, make it student centered. And then you also need to know the aim of each activity. Okay. When you do this, hopefully, you won't have any students being sleepy in class or so falling asleep in class or not wanting to do any work in class. 
Okay. Any questions before we move on to something else? Okay. All right. Now, um, in a minute, we're going to talk more about class management issues. Okay. So, so far we've talked about dealing with students who are sleepy, dealing with students who are not willing to do some work in class. Yeah. So in a minute, we're going to talk more about more different issues. But before that, before that, uh, would it be okay if we um, take a picture? Just quickly take a picture. So um, can you please switch on your camera so that we can take our pictures, please? Thank you very much. Um, I'll take the picture. All right. Okay. So are we ready? Okay. Oh, all right. So we're going to have more. Hold on. Hold on. How many do we have here? Okay. All right. On my count, ready? One, two, three. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you so much. Now let's continue. So, um, there are so many different class management issues, right? Um, now, here's what we're going to do. Um, we are going to talk about some issues that you guys actually asked me in the registration. Um, one of them is oh, some students always finish their task early. Yeah, so you have, let's say, 40 students. And then you have three students who always finish their task early. And then because they finish their task early, they end up having discipline problem. What do you think? the solution would be what can you do to deal with such situation prepare more worksheet okay yes that's one thank you very much miss i don't what else what else can you do with early finishers what do you think making little group for doing something okay Little, okay, can you elaborate more on that, please? I give uh, the drawing books, the big drawing books, and making something together. Uh, take turn, take turn. I will give one, one drawing book, the big uh, book, the, the big drawing books, and drawing something, uh, take turn. Uh, for example, three, three students, yeah, uh, finish, finish huh? early. Right. Uh, I will give the book and Tell the story. Let's make tell the story. Uh, story one, two, three, four. Take turn to making something or together making a story in the drawing book step. Oh, nice. That's a very good idea. That's a very good idea. Thank you. So basically, you want to keep them busy, right? Okay, good. Yes. Yeah, so always have a, a spare activity um, up your sleeve so that you can always keep your students engaged and keep by keeping them busy. Yeah. But then make sure that um, the activity that you use have some is in line with your lesson aim okay thank you so much all right now i have more um issues based on your questions actually um so what we're going to do is this i'm going to give the i'm going to give each of you one problem okay i'm gonna give each of, okay how many do we have you only have around nine right i'm gonna give each of you a problem okay you have around two minutes to think about solutions make it more than one possible solution so like miss ajeng said you know keep them busy by keeping uh, by giving them extra activities and then uh you said um what is again sorry miss ajeng you said extra activity and then after that you said put them in groups right making small group yeah yes put them okay so think about the solutions um it would be great if you can have more than one solution to the issue all right now everyone please look at your um hold on okay 
um, look at the chat box. Hold on. Uh -huh. So, Miss Indri Win Windriani, that's your problem. Okay, ma'am. Pasal Hin, that's yours. Miss Anissa, that's yours. Okay. Miss Ajeng, that's yours. Miss Rani, that's yours. Miss Neneng, chat box, that's your problem, that's your issue. Pak Sarifudin, that's yours. Right, okay. All right, so two minutes, think about possible solutions to these problems. What do you think you can do? Two minutes, and we'll share it. Okay, are you done with your solutions? If you cannot find the solution, that's fine. We'll discuss it later. Ready? Okay, so uh, Miss Reni, Miss Reni, please, no, no, shh. please share your solutions, but, but keep the issue to yourself. Okay, again, listen. Um, Please share your solutions, but keep the issue a secret. Let your friends guess what the issue is. Ready, miss? Yes, okay. Ready, ready. All right, let's go. Okay, uh, friends, actually, I want to share. Um, me as a teacher, actually an early childhood teacher. Yes, Miss Oke. Uh, and then sometimes in my class, yeah, when we are doing some activities. So, uh, yeah, actually uh, in my school, yeah, uh, all the teachers have uh, tried to speak English in the class. So, uh, the students have to speak English. Uh, is 
is uh, the seven seventy percent. I I think at yeah, seventy percent students have to speak English. If they cannot speak English, yeah. Uh, actually, when we have a lesson in the Zoom. And then we try to uh, example uh, numeracy or science. Yeah, actually, I, I teach science in in my class. So uh, some students maybe uh, not familiar with the vocabulary. Yes, then I give them the clue with the movements. Uh, it's like uh, when we teach a uh, part of body, and then when when the students cannot uh, speak English, then they always, yeah, always, uh, yeah, always uh, speak in language, yes. And then uh, I, I have uh, the clue. Uh, it's like touch your this one. What is this? Like that, and then. Uh, the students who cannot uh, answer or uh, guess guess my movement, yeah. So the student who that that student, uh, yeah, actually actually uh, the students, yeah, passive, yeah, passive. Mm, uh, uh, it cannot uh, speak. Yeah, like uh, English, English, English properly like that. So, uh, it's 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 uh yeah, it's what is that? Mm, uh, it's done, yeah, Miss. Yeah. So 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 uh, that students is uh able able to to answer what is this, and then he, uh, and then they follow they follow this is no 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 like that or touch your this one, touch your this one. Okay, uh, then then all the students uh, follow follow the movement also, and then they practice also the vocabulary like that. All when right. I teach in my class like that with the movement also. I yes. See. All right. Like, so basically, so students can, can speak English properly. I see. All right. So the issue is your students basically don't use the uh, they your students don't use English in class, right? Yes. Right. So your solution is by giving them support using gestures. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. OK, yeah. great. Thank you so much. All right. Now, uh, Miss Ajang, can you share your solutions to the issue that I shared with you? Let us guess what the issue is based on your solutions, please. Okay, student. Miss Ajeng, don't know what to do, but Allah know what we are doing to do. Is it good or no? Miss Ajeng will give you um, 100 star if you do it with your self okay okay thank you so much <laughs> so clear what is the issue you think that is her solution by saying that what is the issue students don't, students don't speak in the uh, speak indonesia in class mm. in english class okay student be honest miss ajeng don't know what you are doing Yeah, the students cheating. Yes. <laughs> Good. Yeah. So that is one way of dealing with cheaters, right? Yes. Yes. Tell them that. Thank you so much, Ms. Ajeng. Now, Pak Solihin. Pak Solihin, can you share your uh, solution with us, please, so we can guess what your issue is? Okay. Uh, it is like uh, the exact problem for not only for. Uh, students at school but also for indonesian english english teachers okay 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 but the problems uh, i can handle this ones okay uh i teach the students uh scaffolding talks okay so it helps them to to what is it enhance their competence to speak so, so give us scaffolding talks 
and then I give rewards. If you can blah blah blah, so I give rewards. The rewards can be uh, what it's like, like grades or like money, fresh money. Sometimes I give fresh money. If you oh, always speak, I like you. I'll give you ten thousand. You are so rich. So they were happy. I want to be your student. Yeah, okay. I want to be. I want to be. <laughs> No, they will uh, be always, they will always remember what I've done for a long time. I mean, after I graduated from school. So, oh, you give money a long time ago. But this is not like uh, Phil or Origins or no, but I give like, uh, what is it? It's, it's like, uh, because they, I'm sure they have no money. So, so I, give, <laughs> I, I give some money. Okay. okay, that's all. Okay. But the main points, I teach them. I, uh, educate them to to speak right by scaffolding talks. Okay, yeah. that's all. So, what is what is the issue you think? I like your solution, but I want to be your student. Okay. <laughs> I want ten thousand rupiah. Uh, <laughs> ten dollars, right? Oh, ten dollar. Ooh, better. So, what is the issue? What do you think, ladies? What do you think? Oh, gentlemen, yes. <laughs> I can't you know, remember. scaffolding talks is very important in classrooms, okay? so it can it can help students okay? again right. to speak Pro more and more in English. <laughs> ah, okay. So the problem, your issue is your students speak Indonesian in class. That's right. Ah, uh, I see, I see, I see, I see. All right, okay. Thank you so much for your solutions. Now let's look at the list of solutions to some of the problems that you have shared with me in the registration form, okay? Um, feel free to add to the list of solutions here. So here I've got eight issues. Look at that. Just quickly read this and see if you have any questions in regard to what some of the solutions. These are some. These are some of these are the questions of the questions that you sh uh, asked me in the registration form. Any questions with the, uh, about the, uh, on the solutions? Problem number five, Mister Kaso. Sure. What, what do you think about punishment here? Rewards okay. Just now I said I give some money, right? But what about for punishment? It's like. Uh, for, for the activities, for the action, what, what is punishment here? What what uh, I have seen people do, and I've tried that myself too, was uh, uh, we used to have this smelly hat. So, uh-oh, can, can you hear me? Hi, yes. So anyways, I was saying we used to have um, a smelly hat. Am I frozen? Can you hear me? Yes, it is. Yes. Somebody. Let me stop my video for, for a minute. Okay. So, um, we used to have a smelly hat that we would make our student who, who don't use English in class to wear. That's, that is what I refer to as punishment. But, so, nothing, nothing... Nothing major, but it just you know something like that. Or uh, other teachers would actually make the student who doesn't speak English in class to put in one hundred rupiah into a piggy bank, for example. And then and the at the end of the level, uh, the class will use that money that they have collected from the from those students, uh, you know, for for some pizza or something or you know, something like snack or something that's what i mean by punishment but yeah um 
Anyone else have any thought about this? Uh, once again, Mr. Okay, so based on these uh, explanations, Mr. Okay, uh, took this theory from, I mean, uh, what theory here? Uh, you can adopt this point. I cannot remember the uh, the uh, the person who 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 come up with this uh, um, strategy, but it's basically um, psychological. So we have positive reinforcement, but then we also have uh, this type of re reinforcement as well. Yeah. So um, what I am inclined to do is to experiment different approach because um well you know our one of our duties as a teacher is to actually experiment different approach for the success of our students yeah so i would try to use both just to see how it works because it also depends on the nature of the students right some students you know they don't really care about positive reinforcement but then when they actually give some uh, a different type of reinforcement it actually worked with them so this one based on their real action or their the real teachings yes so the analysis yes. okay. yeah right so these are basically everything that we have used uh, at tbi and this has this actually work um so far but then yeah mm -hmm. i thought that i would just share this with you any other questions Yes, miss. Okay, so have you got any questions? Otherwise, we only have three more minutes. And then after this, we're going to have a quiz, actually. So if you don't have any questions, we can just continue on to the quiz and, and, and more questions and answers if you have some more questions. Uh, so is this clear? By the way, you, I, if I'm mistaken, we'll share this uh, a slide with you guys if uh but then i think there is a catch to it like you have to fill out the feedback form or something yeah so you'll have this all right so um we've talked about the importance of effective classroom management and um some aspects of that would be very uh, varied interaction pattern and also knowing what your active your aim is to each activity yeah and we've also talked about some uh, issues and we've answered some of your questions. Have you got any other questions? If you cannot think of any now, that's okay. If something comes up later on, you can always ask us your question uh, by direct messaging our, Insta uh, our Instagram account, yeah? You can do that, all right? Now, before we go back to the main session, we've got a quiz. So the boss has asked me to look for three winners. So I have three questions actually. Um, all right, so the first question is, please um, raise your hand if you know the answer, all right? Okay, the first question is, um, what should be the interaction pattern when you are giving instructions to your students what should be the interaction pattern just raise your hand if you know the answer what should be the interaction pattern when you are giving instructions to your students miss windry yes what is the answer teacher to classroom yay <laughs> good job mas arno please take note okay that's miss windriani thank you very much question number two What's the difference between closed and open pairs? Pasolihin! <laughs> so, closed pairs uh, involve just in pairs. I mean, they don't care about the what the, the pairs talks, okay? But open pairs can be all, all students, can right. be uh, students. That's all. Thank you so much, yes! Pasolihin is the second winner and the last one. Why should we have varied interaction pattern? Why? Like a Miss mm -mm. Ajeng, yes. Student will be uh, what 
the repetition. What do you mean by repetition? The repetition class uh, uh, every day. If you know the pet, the pattern will be checked. Will be checked the. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, it has something to do with students. What students for, for peer air check? Okay. Right. So, okay. So, all right. So peer check. All right. So basically the reason why you want to have a varied interaction pattern is because you want to make your lesson student centered. Yeah. Okay. Right. And then you can make that, uh, you can make it student centered, for example, by having peer checking. Well then Miss Ajeng, Mas Arno. So Miss Ajeng this is our third winner. Well done. Okay. So that is the end of our classroom management session. But before we go, um, this session is a snippet of what we do in our general introduction to teaching English. Yeah. So we have this training as well. If you want to learn more about how to have an effective lesson in English, then you can just join our GITE course. We also have how to teach using songs workshop, which is in two weeks time. Uh, we'll share with you the techniques on how to use songs to help with our students english and then thank you so much and i'll see you in the main session then thank you guys bye bye see you in the main session let's go thank you okay, welcome back bapak ibu sekalian how is the workshop with miss okla and miss yayu seru ya pastinya seru banget ya bapak ibu semuanya baik Ini saya boleh minta uh, reaksinya di Zoom, boleh diberikan uh, mode-nya, boleh tepuk tangan ataupun senyumnya, Mbak Ibu, terima kasih, Ibu Debora, Ibu Kenny, terima kasih atas responnya, baik. Oke, terima kasih Bapak Ibu semuanya. Ya, sebelumnya mari kita simak bersama-sama video mengenai informasi program-program kami dan promo yang bisa didapatkan. oleh Bapak Ibu yang hadir pada acara hari ini. Jadi mohon untuk tidak meninggalkan uh, workshop di main room ini. Oke, okay, boleh diputarkan. Terima kasih. Baik, Bapak Ibu, terima kasih sebelumnya. Ber, ya, sebelumnya adalah beberapa informasi mengenai TKT dan promo yang diberikan oleh TKI. Jika Bapak Ibu ada pertanyaan, boleh langsung ke mic mengenai uh, TBI maupun UTC ataupun bisa juga menghubungi uh, kontak yang tertera pada biar zoom masing-masing atau bisa kontak juga melalui chat di nomor 081383488478. Ya baik, wah tidak terasa ya, kita sudah tiba di penghujung acara, namun sebelum mengakhiri acara pada sore hari ini, belum lengkap rasanya jika tidak mengabadikan dengan foto bersama. Jadi Bapak Ibu, kami mohon untuk membuka videonya atau video pada zoom-nya boleh diaktifkan terlebih dahulu, kami boleh abadikan Bapak Ibu semuanya, nanti akan dipandu atau dibantu oleh Mbak Kristi. Miss Kristi, selamat sore Miss. Sore Mbak Ana, sore juga iya. Bapak Ibu. 
<laughs> Boleh dibantu okay. nih, untuk diabadikan foto yeah. pada lagi workshop ini? Sudah on cam semua sepertinya ya. Oke, okay. yang okay. belum... Ditunggu dulu masih, masih ada yang siap-siap. Ya, ada yang siap-siap. Ada yang siap, touch siap. up dulu nih Miss Kriti. <laughs> Miss Eka Putri boleh dinyalakan videonya. Terima kasih. Mungkin maskernya ada yang belum rapat bisa dirapatkan. Ya. <laughs> maskernya atau mau dibuka dulu kalau lagi di rumah boleh. Oke. Sip. Oke kita akan foto tiga kali. Dalam hitungan mundur 3, 2, 1 nanti saya akan uh, foto. Oke. Oke, okay, sudah siap semuanya. Tiga, dua, satu, senyum. Oke, okay, siap. Oke, okay, siap. Yang kedua, oke. Okay. Hmm, tiga, bentar, ini ada yang mau nyala. Oke, okay. tiga, dua, satu, senyum. Oke, okay, nah. Yang terakhir nih. Nah, oke. Okay. Tiga, dua, satu, senyum. Yay. Sip, terima kasih Pak Ibu, teman-teman okay. tim dan yang di sebelah sini. Thank you, Christy. Ya, baik. Terima kasih Pak Ibu semuanya. Saatnya saya bertemu acara pada saya hari ini. Sekali lagi mewakili TBI dari isi, kami ucapkan terima kasih atas kehadiran Bapak Ibu semua yang telah hadir pada acara sore hari ini dari awal hingga akhir acara. Semoga segala materi yang telah disampaikan para speaker dapat dimanfaatkan sebaik-baiknya. Jangan ragu untuk terus mengasah kemampuan dan mengembangkan kualifikasi dari diri agar kegiatan belajar siswa dapat terus berorientasi kepada tujuan ingin dicapai. Mohon untuk mengisi feedback form melalui link yang tertera di kolom chat box. Jadi kami kirimkan link untuk feedback form Bapak Ibu semuanya. Kami harap Bapak Ibu bisa mengisi terlebih dahulu pada link tersebut. Baik, sekali lagi kami mengucapkan selamat hari guru kepada sosok-sosok hebat yang hadir pada hari ini atas dedikasi dan perjuangan yang luar biasa terhadap kemajuan pendidikan Indonesia. Salut dan cinta kami untuk Bapak Ibu sekalian. Semoga di pendidikan kita terus berkembang juga dalam berikan ruang edukasi terbaik bagi seluruh siswa dan siswi Indonesia yang memiliki mimpi yang besar. Tidak lupa saya ucapkan terima kasih juga untuk Miss Oke dan Miss Yayu atas mari workshop yang hebat banget yang sudah disampaikan kepada para uh, pengajar Indonesia ini. Baik, izinkan saya untuk undur diri. Sampai jumpa di acara TBI dan UTC selanjutnya. Jangan lupa untuk follow akun-akun sosial media kami untuk update mengenai program-program penawaran menarik yang kami tawarkan. Ya, sekali lagi kami akan kembali untuk Bapak Ibu. Kami mohon untuk berkenan mengisi feedback form yang kami kirimkan pada chat box. Linknya boleh lengkapi terlebih dahulu. Ya, baik, sambil ditunggu kami akan putarkan video um, dari UTC dan TBI. Oke, terima kasih sekali lagi untuk Bapak Ibu semuanya. Stay positive and healthy everyone. Goodbye and have a nice have a, have a blessed weekend. Thank you. The British Institute was founded in 1984 and we've helped thousands of people develop their English language skills. Using communicative, student-centered and task-based approach, our academic team ensures that our delivery methods are up to date. Our public class students undergo a variety of courses such as very young learners, pre-teenagers, teenagers, general English, business communication, conversation, writing and many more. Naturally, the lessons are accompanied with various fun activities. In the last few years, English has become essential for business. Our corporate training is here to provide the necessary English language coaching for companies or institutions that want to increase their competitive value. The demand to pursue a degree abroad increases year by year. Our exam preparation class will help you achieve your desired score and teach you strategies to face your chosen international exam. As the only authorized CELTA center in Indonesia, TBI is an extension of University of Cambridge English. CELTA is the world's leading teacher training qualification. We also provide teacher training programs for teachers or for those who wish to teach. 
established more than 35 years ago and has branches in many major cities in Indonesia. Recognized by the University of Cambridge English as the only CELTA center in Indonesia. Our teachers have international certifications and are experienced. Follows international standards of teaching and assessment methods. Has taught more than 50,000 people and in more than 1,000 companies. We've helped them compete in the marketplace. When's your turn? Yeah.